I had originally thought that this might be an ideal way in which to mount a, uh, a DX Commander or a, any sort of vertical antenna against a, uh, a trellis that I have here, a couple of plastic standoffs as you see there, and uh, held off against the fence to make it freestanding. However, when we get uh, very high storms and so on like that, unfortunately, uh, this was the result. Decided to snap off at this uh, location here. And I thought, well, I wonder why that's the case. I mean, it seems to be a bit strange, and I thought that would have been uh, the self supporting um, system here would have been ideal. Uh, and in calm weather, it, it is. It uh, works extremely well, no need for any guys at all. So I wonder why this uh, antenna actually decided to snap here under very, very high winds. I must admit that the winds were extremely high, and uh, <laughs> uh, a better way, a better thing altogether would have been to take it down uh, temporarily and wait for the storm to go through. However, um, we live and learn, don't we? Now, I wonder why it uh, snapped at this particular place. And it's got me to, to think a little bit about uh, uh, levers and fulcrums and so on like that. <laughs> it was Archimedes, wasn't it, that said that uh, give me a lever long enough and, uh, and a fulcrum placed in the right place and I can move the world. <laughs> uh, true. So let's go inside, shall we, and uh, uh, back into my radio room. We'll get a pencil and paper out and have a look and see what's going on. What, well, what I think is going on here, and uh, I think gives me a very good and adequate explanation as to why uh, the, uh, this pole has snapped the way it has. And um, entirely my problem, entirely my fault, not the fault of the pole at all, uh, as far as I can see, but let's go inside and we'll work it out, shall we? Okay, so here we are inside and uh, let's have a look at the, this problem as I see it. Right. <laughs> I've uh, had a little bit of a drawing here and I, I think uh, you might recognise this from the from those days in high school and uh, uh, those physics lessons here, yeah? we have a uh, the classic uh, lever and fulcrum uh, um, problem. So here we have a uh, uh, a lever, if you wish, fulcrum. The load that you're trying to lift, and of course, uh, here is uh, the effort that we're going to uh, exert. Uh, to lift this load, and then we and we all know that if uh, if you lengthen this uh, this um, lever here, of course, it would take a lot less effort to lift this load than if this is um, this lever is very short. And so, uh, I think this is very similar to what's going on with uh, the antenna out out there. In fact, if we tip it up this way. Uh, Probably even looks like a, <laughs> a DX commander, shall we say, up here. The uh, the fulcrum here is um, probably the equivalent to the, uh, the the fence that I've got this strapped against. And uh, here's the point that we had the saddle clamp. Yeah, the the load in this case though. It's quite different, isn't it? Because we we now have the load uh, actually strapped to the uh, to the fence, so it's not shifting, and that's that's one of the big uh, the big problems of what's going on here. So we've got saddle clamps here and here, so the load is not shifting. Therefore, any effort we put in at uh, here in the form of wind to try and which will try and bend this over. Of course now, the, the, because the load won't shift, all that load is taken off at that, this fulcrum point here. Comes a point where, uh, of course, that uh, the simply it won't um, handle that force any longer and it breaks. And I think that's what's happened in this case. 
that the the force has been uh, too great uh, at this point here with the with it strapped against the fence like that the load can't move at all and so it, it'll break now in a in a normal situation where we have uh, this thing uh, the DX commander guide in such a way uh, maybe have a, a a couple of guys out here it's no longer strapped to the fence but it is guide the fulcrum point is certainly still here but it there is a little bit of movement at that point it can actually move and so the moment it moves it, it'll always uh, the fulcrum that point then will always shift down to where the point at the point of no movement which in, in our normal case is at this point at the ground where it's sitting on the ground and so when the fulcrum point is now at out on the ground because we the whole of the pole has got a little bit of movement the guys will give a little bit there's nothing to break down there uh, on the ground at ground level and so the the pole survives certainly it'll 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 turn over quite a bit but it has a greater uh, survival rate if it's not actually strapped up against a uh, in my case a trellis at least that's what i think what's happening so uh, that's, <laughs> uh, remember physics from high school, I, I think that um, I'd value your comments. I really would value your comments on this one for sure. But I think that's uh, basically what's going on and why the, why the pole actually snapped at that, um, at that point at the, at the top of the trellis there. Uh, whereas under, as under normal circumstances, I say if it's just out in the field, or out in the middle of the, the, the yard or the lawn or, the, or whatever we're going to call it, and it's guide, normally there is, there is movement in the guy, and that, I'm certain that shifts that fulcrum point down to the ground level where there's nothing to break. Of course, you can bend the pole to a certain point where it uh, actually comes, it will snap. But I think what, uh, pretty sure what's going on here is I've, I've created a fulcrum uh, against which it, it's going to um, can't move it's going to snap so now uh, <laughs> what do I do about this uh, because I really needed this pole uh, to do some experimenting uh, this afternoon a re uh, couple of little uh, projects I wanted to need the pole for so I thought well uh, I can't get uh, a pole immediately from Pelham uh, I know that but um I'm certain that uh, there's something, I should be able to do something. So follow me outside again now and I'll show you how I, I came around this, uh, overcame this problem. Incidentally, uh, I did get hold of Callum and I said, uh, oh, this jolly pole snap, mate, um, go and get another one. Uh, he immediately, immediately, no questions asked, said, I'll send you one. Uh, send you one, no problem at all, just pay the freight. I thought, wow, <laughs> uh, that's has great service. And uh, they said, no, that, that's fine. He said, uh, oh, well, send me the parts. No, it's far easier just to send you a complete poll uh, than it is to send me the, the parts that you need. Of uh, course, the other thing is, if I just send you the parts that I need, what am I going to do with all the other parts that are left over? I guarantee you after a while, I'm just going to have a workshop full of parts. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, what, what do I do with those? So it's far easier to send me, uh, send me a, uh, a replacement pole. Callum, really grateful. Uh, the service is superb. And, um, uh, yeah, what can I say? That, that's great. All right, let's... Let's go outside now and have a look and, and see what I've uh, actually done with this pole. Now I know the service at uh, DX Commander is second to none, but it really is. It's fabulous and I know I can uh, um, send an email away to Callum right away and uh, he'll get a part underway for me, a replacement part all, uh, away immediately. I know that. But, uh, I really want to use this jolly thing this afternoon for uh, a couple of things, a couple of experiments actually I want to carry out. And so what I've done is I've uh, gone and got a, a piece of dowel, uh, about a metre long. And what I've done is I've shaped it or, or tapered it from one end to the other, 
just a little bit of a taper so that it will fit up in the inside of the uh, DX Commander. Uh, quite a snug fit. And then uh, we'll connect that, uh, just hold it in place with a couple of hose clamps. I won't glue it in place because of course this is solid and uh, that means the, the, the DX Commander would not be collapsible at all with a solid lump of wood in the middle of it. So I'll just uh, temporarily just uh, clamp it in place and um, uh, that'll do for me until I, I get a replacement part. So here we are with a wooden plug up the centre of the base uh, portion of the DX Commander. And uh, I've extended that out a little bit to go up into the top portion, as you can see there. And I'll just put a hose clamp around both ends, hold it in position at the moment. I mean, this is just a temporary measure until I get a new one, simply because I want to get the thing going this afternoon. Now, please understand that this is only a, a very temporary measure until such time as I get the, a new one from uh, DX Commander. I'm sure they'll get one uh, down to me straight away. Their service is excellent. So the dowel is up the centre of the pole and I've just uh, held it together really with a couple of hose clamps there. Uh, very, very temporary indeed. But it'll do for the experiments that I want to do this afternoon.